you know, when you're writing all of your your New Year's resolutions and your goals and all of that, of course I did that. And one of my goals was to pay off my car. Um, I had other goals, I think, maybe starting this podcast, which I did. Um, but of course, I didn't want to just start it, I wanted to continue. But we'll get back to paying off my car. So I had this plan to pay off my car, and then um, after that, of course, I would have a car payment. I feel like that was going to be a huge weight off of my shoulders because I wouldn't have to worry about that bill. And this brings me to why I want to say I recorded my last episode in March, at the end of March or somewhere around there. So the end of April, I, end, I ended up totaling my car. in this. 
I feel like every time we plan for something and it doesn't go the way that we plan, we look at it in a negative way. When in reality now, I feel like everything that happens that doesn't go our way is to teach you a lesson. So the lesson that I learned was pretty much, for one, being grateful for the small things because there were a lot of times that I would say, I would get frustrated with the car because it had it had a few issues prior. I remember it. I remember being stranded on the highway one day because it decided to completely go out. I remember going to dinner and it completely gave out on me. You know, just a lot of different issues that were happening to where I was frustrated with the car altogether. But then, of course, when you lose it, you realize. Well, damn, maybe it wasn't so bad. Now I don't have a car. So it's really taught me to be grateful for the for the small things because, of course, the alternative is you not having it. So I really sat with myself, told myself, okay, well, I did get my, my goal met. My car was paid off. It may not have been paid off in the way that I wanted it to be paid off, um, it, it was paid off and me losing it, but it was still paid off. So even with that, the lesson was you got to be specific in the things that you ask for because one way or another, you're going to get it. It may not happen in the way that you, that you envision it, but it will happen. So everything in life that I have planned for, even when it comes to, I know a lot of people get stuck on the timing of things and your age and everything. I remember when I, before I turned 30, I had it in my mind that my life should have looked a certain way and I wasn't there yet. And I think sometimes society will have you thinking like, you're not where you need to be because you don't look like the traditional or your life doesn't look like the traditional everyday life. If you're 30 and you're not married, or you don't have kids, or you haven't purchased your first home, or you don't have a certain vehicle, or whatever the case may be, that you're a failure. At least that's what society will make you believe. But at the end of the day, everybody has their own journey. And age really is nothing but a number. And, I, and I'm realizing that the older that I get, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's desires are different. And sometimes people will project what they expect out of their life on you. You know, like, why aren't you this? Or why aren't you that? Because that's the life that they see for you. So I had to really figure out, okay, what do I want for my life? What things make me happy? And kind of roll with that. Um, so I don't do too much planning anymore. And as a Virgo, you know, that's something that we have a hard time with like we like to plan everything to the T we like to be in control of everything and I've really been trying to do things differently because I realized that things flow a lot better when you kind of just go within the moment you go based on how you feel now I'm not saying to just go through life with no plan but what I'm saying is kind of just got to take things one day at a time I truly believe that the more you and I won't say that it's out of desperation, but the more you focus on a thing, I feel like the further it is from you attaining it because your focus is only on that. But the moment you change your focus, like if it's a relationship that you want or um, a new position or whatever the case may be, the more you focus on just being better every single day, then I feel like the closer you are to, to getting that. Because you're going to be focused on what you don't have in the moment. So, it's easier said than done. But I've also been trying to, trying to do that as well and not beating myself up every single day about what it is that I haven't accomplished, what it is that I don't have and focusing more on what I do have. So life has been, life has been a journey, but every day is really just a learning, learning experience for me and just trying to be better, trying to do things, I guess that make me happy and not necessarily 
doing things that look a certain way to other people because nobody can really see the vision that you have for your life. Nobody really knows your purpose here on earth. And as long as you are making strides to do the things that you see or you envision, I feel like it'll come to fruition. Um, as long as the intentions are good. So that's where I'm at. And I know I digressed and, and I'm gonna do that because I have a lot of thoughts, but back to the car situation, um, my vehicle was totaled. I was able to get another vehicle um, that's been getting me from A to B. I'm happy with it. It didn't take too long to get it. Um, and also, it was my first time going in there and negotiating the deal and, and doing this by myself. So that was something that maybe I had to grow into as well. Doing things on my own.